What is up guys, I am the Senator and last week I made a video where I talked about what Ubisoft could do in order to decrease the rate of which Echo is being banned. And while I think that Echo is in a great spot, I think that overall they may need to make some changes in order to make him an operator that isn't banned in every single ranked match. However, with the introduction of Malusi and how ridiculously overpowered she is, I think that we will see a shift in the ban rates and Malusi may be the operator to take the place of Echo as one of the most banned operators. And I think that will be the case until Ubisoft finally decides to take away one of her banshees which they desperately need to take away. But this time, I want to take it in the other direction and look at the attackers and talk about what could be done in order to lower the pick rate of Jackal. And looking at Jackal, similar to Echo, I think he's really in a good spot. I don't think he is ridiculously overpowered, but I do understand why he is banned in every match. And looking at operators like Jackal and Echo, I would rather them be weaker and have a smaller ban rate than for them to be insanely strong and banned in every single match. And when looking at both Echo and Jackal in terms of how strong they are, I think Jackal is a stronger operator when considering his loadout and his ability. But what factors about Jackal make him so annoying and oppressive? Well, Jackal's already appealing when looking at the weapons he has. The C7E is one of the best rifles in this game and has an extremely high DPS. He also has the other option of the PDW-9, which is one of the best SMGs in the game and comes with an ACOG and a 50 round drum mag. Any of those weapons on an operator would make them extremely appealing anyway. That along with a shotgun as a secondary, it makes more sense as to why people don't want to go against that just when looking at his kit. But when looking at his ability, they have messed with his scanner a few seasons back and it really hasn't had much effect on the rate that he is banned. And so when looking at Jekyll's scanner, they can adjust how long the footprints stay on the floor and the distance that they can be scanned. But I think the number one thing that can be the most oppressive about Jekyll is the fact that you can be pinged multiple times by Jekyll. And I know that the number of times that someone will be pinged is determined by how the footprint is, but still, he has three scans that continuously track someone around the map. So, it's really no wonder why he's banned every round. It's understandable why people want him banned every round. So the question is, how can Jackal's ability be nerfed in a way that makes him less oppressive, but is still appealing to everyone? How can that balance be found to where he's actually playable and not banned every single round? I think that when looking at his kit and being that he has one of the best kits in the game considering he has the best SMG and one of the best rifles as well as a shotgun secondary, he could honestly afford a nerf to his gadget. So my idea for fixing Jackal would be simply to take away the number of scans he has available, take it from 3 scans down to 2, and make it to where regardless of how old the footprint is, the defender will only get pinged one time. Now to many that may sound like too big of a nerf, and I understand why when just looking at the service of it, it seems like a nerf that would cause him to be useless. Again, I don't think so when you take his kit into account. But if you do think that would render him useless, just compare Jackal to Dokubi. Both operators are designed to flush out the roamers, and looking at both of them, the only thing that Dokubi brings that's better than Jackal is her ability to, you know, access cameras as well as call every single defender, whereas Jackal can only skin one person at a time. And I don't know about you guys, but whenever I play Dokubi personally, I use her specifically for just finding the roamers and I don't really think much about accessing the cameras. But when you do look at the way both of their abilities work, as well as their kits, Jackal is so much better than Dokubi. With Jackal, you don't have to find the roamers off of a sound cue, you get their precise location and they're continuously pinged. And looking at their primaries, Jackal obviously has the upper hand with the C7E and the PDW9. Not to say that Dokubi's MK14 isn't a great gun, it's it's probably one of the best DMRs, but it can't compare it to Jackal's primaries. And I say all of this to say that even though Dokubi and Jackal have pretty much the same purpose and they do have slight differences, that being that Dokubi can access cams and call everyone at once, whereas Jackal can only ping one person at once, I do think that Dokubi is significantly worse than Jackal when it comes to clearing the roamers. But the thing is, even though she's worse than Jackal, nobody is asking for a buff to Dokubi. I think if I were to take a poll, I think most of the community would say that even though Dokubi can be extremely annoying, nonetheless, she is pretty balanced, not nearly as oppressive as Jackal. And so this past week, I did a video about an idea that I have to buff DMRs, and so I need some footage of using a DMR. So I played with Dokubi for a few hours, and I played more Dokubi in those few hours than I think I ever had before. 
and all I can say that she can be extremely strong in terms of balance and I think she's very well balanced and then I look at Jackal that I would also use to clear out roamers and he takes no effort to use so I think that all in all, I think Jackal could afford a nerf in which his scans are cut down from three scans to two, and the roamer will be scanned once regardless of how the footprint is. I honestly don't think that a change like this would lower the appeal too much to play Jackal, considering that he would still be the best at what he does when it comes to finding the roamers, and he has one of the best kits in the game. I also think that this would lower the ban rate, considering that he wouldn't be nearly as oppressive, but he would still be good enough at what he does in order to be picked. You wouldn't have the you know, that 20 second span of just running around the map where the attacker, every attacker knows where you are. And if Jackal only has one ping, that is still a lot of information that is given to the attackers. And so basically that allows them to find the roamer and do it pretty much passively. And so this is a solution that I think is probably as, extr as extreme as it could get before the point that nobody would ever want to play him ever again. I think this is where we can find that balanced. And like I said in my video on Echo, I don't really like the idea of huge nerfs like this to these operators, but I would rather have an operator that is just slightly underpowered, but I honestly don't think that this change would make him underpowered at all. But I would rather have an underpowered operator than have an operator that is too oppressive to the point where there's a blanket ban on them every round regardless of the map. And I think that the whole point of Pikmin Man is to ban operators in a way that benefits what your team is playing if you're either on offense or defense first and what map you're playing on. And blanket bans like Jackal and Echo kind of take a lot of fun out of that. And it's really counterintuitive to what Ubisoft set out in establishing the Pikmin Man in the first place. So overall, what do you think? If Jackal had a nerf like this, like what I'm suggesting, would you still play him? Or is it a nerf that would just render him unplayable, even with the amazing kit that he has? Let me know down below. I would like to thank you for sticking around till the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit the like button. That helps me out a ton. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon. That way you can be notified every time I post a video. I'm the Senator, and as always, have a good one.